flowers are blooming, the frogs are croaking, the birds are singing. In spring, everything's a little louder and a little brighter. It's also the time that I can find my favorite animal. It's not very loud and it's pretty sneaky. When I have students with me out on a field trip and they roll a log, I'll hear screams and then quick, come look at this blue lizard. While it's not a lizard, I want you to meet the blue spotted salamander. Salamanders are amphibians, like frogs and toads. The word amphibian means double life. This refers to their life cycle. They have to go to the water to lay eggs. So their babies, tadpoles for frogs and larvae for salamanders, will grow up in the pond, start swimming around, and then transform into adults. Once they're adults, they can generally live both in land and water. Salamanders get confused for lizards a lot of the time. So let's break down the differences. Lizards have scales and claws, while salamanders have smooth, moist skin and rounded toes. In the case of our blue spotted salamander, they have dark bodies with blue speckles and spots along their sides, their bellies, and their tails. Males tend to be a little bit smaller than females with longer tails, but it's hard to tell unless they're side by side. Blue spotted salamanders belong to the mole salamander family. This family tends to spend most of their time underground in tunnels. That's why it's a real treat to see them in spring. They're coming above ground to make their way to ponds to find each other to mate and lay eggs. Normally they will live in forests with downed logs and leaf litter to find cover with a close pond nearby. These ponds tend to be ephemeral or temporary. The key is that they don't have fish in there to eat the babies. Salamanders are carnivores. So if you peek into their world a little bit, roll over a log, you'll see a lot of their prey. They eat worms, slugs, spiders, and other insects. One of the coolest things about blue spotted salamanders and all amphibians really, is that they're indicator species. So an indicator species is something that when their presence is there, you know you have a healthy habitat. Amphibians can breathe through their skin and take oxygen up in the water. So if there's any pollutants in the water, it would not be good for them and they wouldn't be able to survive. So the fact that we have these special salamanders here means that we have high quality clean habitat. So let's keep it clean by picking up our litter and watching our fertilizer use. That way we can have healthy salamanders for years to come.